Baxter B6! Hey there, it's Baxter here with the third of the Baxter B6. Uh, I'm going to start off by opening up a MSP tutorial. So under your help menu, uh, there's an MSP tutorial option. And I'm going to start off with playback with loops. Oh yeah. And I'm going to open that tutorial. Okay. Here's my, um, here we can click these presets to get an idea of what's going on. A very, very vague idea. Hello? Okay. Fine. Don't give me an idea. Give me some sound, at least. Yeah, so all sorts of stuff to do with looping and whether the loop selection's on or anything. Just choose the first one of these presets, which is called Igor's Chord. And I'm going to have you erase that preset box. Ha ha. So we've got our sample chosen, playback speed at 1, amplitude at 1. There's one thing that you have to effect or do something to here. Only one thing. Don't try and do more than one thing. But there's one thing that needs to be somehow triggered before this will start playback. I'll give you some time to look at the tutorial and think about that. Alright, you're back. It is, in fact, you need to give some, a start time. You could just click into this number box here and change it ever so slightly. And it will play back the sample. Okay. So now, I'm going to want to trigger this start time and change samples using the keys on my computer keyboard. Uh, let's at least get some of the way. At least figure out what the name of the object is that you need to use to play the sounds or to affect any of these settings using your computer keyboard and to know what that object is called why don't you have a quick look at the max tutorials again under the help menu there and it's here where it says something about uh, keyboard and mouse input the answer will be in tutorial 8 of the max tutorial I'll give you approximately 10 seconds to check it out. Alright, indeed, you have the answer I know you have, so you unlock your patcher over here, and you've created yourself a key object. Yes, indeed. So, we can look at the key output here by putting in number box. I is the, the key for getting a, and one of these integer boxes coming up. And, of course, N was the shortcut for making a new object. <coughs> so, yes, if I play around on my, with the patch, lock the patcher again so we don't get objects. Um, playing around here. I want to make the numbers 1, 2, and 3 on my keyboard change these uh, U-menu choices. So, let me just point out, for a start, we'll make an integer box here, and we can put that, in, that integer into there. We can verify that the choices 0, 1, and 2, the numbers, integers going into that, um, do in fact select those three choices. Um, the cr tricky part is going to be taking the numbers on my key computer keyboard, which 1 is 49, 2 is 50, and 3 is 51, and affecting those so they become 1, 2, and 3. 49, 50, 51 should become 0, I might have said that wrong, 1 and 2. All right, think about that.
Okay, um, in case you weren't already um, in the groove there, that's going to have something to do with basic arithmetic, which you could have figured all out if you looked at Max Tutorials, where is it? Simple Maths. Uh, Tutorial number six, simple maths. If you want to, if you didn't quite solve it now, I'll give you another couple minutes to look at that tutorial. Like it says, everybody loves math. And the one, um, or maths, depends on whose country you live in. The, the thing I suppose we'd want um, to do here is to subtract 49, right? 49 minus 49 is 0, 50 minus 49 is 1, and 51 minus 49 is 2. Awesome. So, new object, and on my keyboard, minus 49, and between the outlet of that integer box is a good enough place to put it. And the inlet of this other integer box down here, that's a good place to put it. And now I can choose these to change my samples. Now I want to have this obviously trigger the um, start time thing. How am I going to do that? How am I going to make this start time thing output? I just want this, this, this float here to output. Alright, and for a clue, we'll have you look at the Max tutorials again. And we'll have you look at Max tutorial number two, which is bang. Oh, that's a really subtle hint. All right, enough of that. So the shortcut on your computer keyboard for a button is B. And buttons make bangs like crazy mad. And here they're going to just the number, any kind of input into a, into a button is going to cause it to output a bang. And we'll put that into our start time here. Now, when I press 1, 2, 3 on my keyboard, I can play those three samples. Yay! All right. Our uh, problem is every other key I play on my keyboard is going to also trigger those samples. Um, I want something that's only going to let these certain range of 1, 2, and 3, these keys, through. I'll give you a hint. Is, is that you? Whoa, oh, make a new object. Is that you? And the name of the object is split. Hey, that's not subtle at all. So yeah, figure out what arguments you need to put in split to make it only trigger these samples when you press the 1, 2, and 3 keys on your keyboard. Okay, you got it split between 49 and 51 so that nothing but those values can come through here. And then we can connect it up so, and it should only play. Is that you? And none of the other keys that I play are going to make it trigger. Okay, I was going to get you to do one other thing. Um, Sure. No, no. Let's just leave that till to, to to Baxter's next next trick. So I'll check you later.